This circle is part of LOFAR, the largest pan-European radio frequency telescope. And those little dots are antennas, exploring the far reaches of the universe. In Europe, there are about 50 stations like this one in Exlo in the Netherlands, and they contain thousands of such antennas. The longer you put your antennas apart, the more accurate you can look at objects. So with LOFAR, we study really the early universe. We can study, we can look really far back in time to the first 500 million years after the Big Bang. The LOFAR Super Telescope was born 13 years ago. These antennas are more sensitive to low-frequency electromagnetic waves than dish telescopes, and they see the whole sky at once. All the data generated by the various stations is stored in a supercomputer and processed at Astron, the project's headquarters. But how do they do it, and what do they observe? We have to amplify that signal uh, more than a million times. And what you see here is that uh, the, the red and, and, and yellow stuff on the background, that's the signal we're looking for. Um, we can look at other planets, but we also look much further away to galaxies uh, and, and, and black holes um, uh, that are very far away from us and try to understand how the universe has formed. Ten countries are participating in LOFAR and there are 54 stations deployed with more than 110,000 antennas. The European Cohesion Policy has contributed more than 10.8 million euros to this project, which has a budget of several tens of millions of euros. New Ways Electronics is part of a group of regional high-tech companies involved in the LOFAR challenge, creating hundreds of thousands of low-cost antennas capable of sending real-time data over a wide area. The electronic boards of the antennas are manufactured here, science and technology reinforcing one another. This is a very uh, complex one. We used, uh, we produced this for Astron. Um, the board itself has in total 6,000 uh, components on it. Because of producing this complex board, uh, Astron also challenged us to, uh, to move higher on the technology uh, skills we need. LOFAR is among the 15 European funded projects that came out winners at the latest Rejo Stars Awards.